Bismillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi shmain. So, open up textbook. Chapter 4. Now that we have completed our study of the four properties of Islam, we can look at the remaining fragments. Recall that we already covered three fragments under status and action. The remaining two fragments are... So in the book, there's already like they've done uh, a couple of them before this. Yeah. So... Mm-hmm. What are the other ones? Uh, Jar al Majroor. Mm-hmm. We already know Jar Majroor. Yeah. Harf Nasab. Nasab. What are the Jar Majroor? Ja, what's the, what are the Jar? Uh, ba, ta, 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 kaf, lam, wow. Mim, fi, an, ala, hatta, ila. So we're good with that. Then Harf Nasab and Ism. Inna, anna, ki anna, bi anna, laita, lakinna, la'alla. And the whatever they make Nasab is turned into Ismu inna. Or if it's anna, it's ismu anna. Yeah, yeah. If it came after lakinna, it's ismu lakinna. Yeah, yeah. It's like that, right? Mm-hmm. And that becomes nasab. And the only thing is they don't have to come right after, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So those are the ones that are, number four and number five are the ones that are made up of a harf and an ism. Yeah. Right? So mm-hmm. a harf plus ism, it's, you're reading it this way, guys. You got to read it this way. Okay? Oh, so okay. harf followed by ism. Yeah. Okay? Mm-hmm. So the, that's jar and majur. The jar part is a harf. Yeah. And the harf and nasab part is a harf. Yeah. And then it comes with ism. Mm-hmm. The idafa, these are made up of ism and ism, ism mm-hmm. and ism, ism, ism and ism. ism. Mm-hmm. That's why you can't confuse these guys with these guys because these two guys are uh, harf based fragments. Mm-hmm. So we don't use words like mudaf and mudafile for them. Because yeah. mudaf and mudafile is used, mudaf is for an ism, mudafile is for an ism. So if you mm-hmm. see a jar majroor, you cannot call it a mudaf mudafile. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because if you call it a mudaf mudafile, it's like mm-hmm. you're saying that the harf of jar is an ism. Yeah. That's why you can't call it that. Mm-hmm. Is that clear to everybody? Why we don't use those terms? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Al idafa is what a mudaf and a mudaf and what do you remember about the rules for a mudaf mudafile? Oh, mudaf lightno al mudaf ilay jar. So mudaf mudafile gets av in between. Yeah. Yeah. Now. There are four properties of the mudaf, mm-hmm. and there are four properties of the mudaf ilay. Sure. However, mm. however, there's something about the mudaf that is not determined by the mudaf. I already know. Status, mudaf can tell you. Yeah. Number, mudaf can tell you. Mm-hmm. Gender, mudaf can tell you. Mm-hmm. How do you tell the type, common or proper, of a mudaf? A mudaf ilay. You have to ask the mudaf. Yeah. And if somebody asks you, what are the four properties of the whole mudaf mudafile together? Mm. Who would have that answer? Uh, the mudafile. The, no. The four properties together oh, as mudaf. a whole. The mudaf. The mudaf is in the driver's seat. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So three properties come from mudaf. One property comes from mudafile. And when you look at them as a whole, mm-hmm. then the whole thing is determined yeah. by whatever you found for the mudaf. Mm-hmm. So yeah. mudaf speaks for the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, is, what is the muslim sifa? Most of uh, um, uh, uh, four, uh, four properties matching. Four properties matching. Let's play a little game. Let's take our knowledge to the next level. Okay. And this will take 10 to 15 minutes and we'll call it a day today. We won't, we'll won't. we do the question thing at the end, the, the card thing. Okay. But, um, what about the I need your brain juices right now. We're not going to go. We'll do the juice tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Rasulullah. Mm, okay. Messenger of Allah. Allah. Okay. Now. Everybody pay attention to when I'm teaching and don't say could you repeat afterwards. If you really paid attention and you then you want me to repeat, that's good. But if you're zoned out and then you say could you repeat the whole thing, mm-mm-mm. stay focused. Yeah. I need your m- a million percent focus. Mm-hmm. Rasulullah al karim and Rasulullah al karim one. Okay, mm-hmm. I've wrote, written three, all three correct forms of Arabic. Each one of these is correct. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, Rasulullah al Karimu. What are the four properties of a Rasul? Uh, the four properties. Maryam, what's the status of a Rasul or a Rasul in the first line? Rasa. Yeah. So you know what? Because that's true of each line, I'll do that here too. This is Rafa also, and this is Rafa also. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's the mudafilay? Uh, Laftul Jalala. Laftul Jalala. Oh. Laftul Jalala. Allah. Right. Uh. right. But now I still want the four properties of Rasul. Okay. It's Rafa. Mm-hmm. Number wise. Yeah. Number wise, what? Uh, oh, one. one. Number wise, yeah. <laughs> Gender wise. Uh, masculine. 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 
and status wise, or uh, not status, uh, type wise. Proper. Uh, proper. Why? Laftal Jalala is proper. Right. Laftal Jalala is proper. Which means that for Rasul, I will do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. R1MP. Mm -hmm. Piece of cake. Yeah. And this one also, R1MP. Uh, yeah. Everybody's clear that Rasul was the same properties each time? Yeah. Great. No, Rasul is not proper because the proper name, it's not a proper name. It's a description of a messenger. Mm -hmm. A messenger. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, tell me the four properties of Al-Karimu in the first line. Al-Karimu, mirror, Miriam. Uh, why don't you go, Maryam? All okay. four properties. Okay. Al-Karimu. Um, Rafa? Yeah. Muan? Mm -hmm. um, Al-Karimu, uh, masculine? Mm -hmm. Proper. Good job. Uh, Ahmed, why don't you tell me the four properties of Al-Karimu? Uh, in the in the second case, in the second one, uh, Al Karimi, uh, Jad, Jab, uh, one, one, uh, uh, masculine, masculine, and proper, proper. Okay, back to Mariam, mm -hmm. Karimun, mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, Nasab. All right, hey guys, uh, Karimun. that's it. We're heading out. Karimun, one. Oh, it's Rafa. <laughs> Rafa one masculine proper uh, common. Promen what? Common. Proper. <laughs> common. Huh? Um, common. common. Yeah. Okay. So Rasulullah he stayed the same, but Al Karim kept changing. Yeah. Okay. In the first case, is it safe to say that Al Karim and Rasul match? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what that means? That Rasul, Rasul is Mosuf. Yeah. And Al Karim is Sifa. Sifa. That means that Al Karim is describing Rasul. If Al Karim means noble, mm. the noble messenger of Allah. The noble messenger of Allah. Mm. Now, but Ustad, why couldn't you just put Al Karim right here in between? Because nothing comes between a mudaf and a. That's why you can't put it in between. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why it has to go at the end. But how come Al Karim has Al and Rasul doesn't have Al? That's because Ummah, Rasul is a mudaf, and a mudaf cannot have al. Yeah. But if it wants to have an adjective, that adjective better match. And it's the only way it can match is with al. al yeah. That's mm -hmm. why yeah. the Arab, the grammar I says Rasul mm -hmm. matches with al karim. Yeah. The non grammar I says, oh, Rasul doesn't have al, mm -hmm. and al karim does, so they don't match. Yeah. Yes, they do, based on grammar. Yeah. Okay, is that clear? Is the first one clear? Good. Second one. Rasulullah al kari me. Second one is Rasulullah al kari me. You know what? Mm. It no longer matches with Rasul. Yeah. But you know what? It matches with Allah. Love Jalala. Yeah, it matches with Love Jalala. Jar Jar, one one, masculine, masculine, proper, proper. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. This time Al Karimi is Mosuf Sifa, but not Rasul Mosuf and Al Karim Sifa. Mm -hmm. It's Lafzul Jalala Mosuf and Al Karim Sifa. So the messenger of the noble Allah, or the no, noble is not the best word, the gracious Allah. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, or the messenger of Allah, the gracious. Mm. Like that. Okay. It's a description of Allah. Allah. Mm. You with me? Yeah. Why? Because when four properties match, it becomes an adjective. Yeah. Did one haraka make a difference? Yeah. Totally. Mm -hmm. And with the third one. Okay. But Rasulullahi. Karimun. Karimun. Mm -hmm. The problem now is it doesn't match the word Allah mm -hmm. and it doesn't match the word Rasul. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. This became a sentence because when there's no connection, there's an is. Yeah. The messenger of oh. Allah oh. Is, is noble. Noble. Mm -hmm. Or gracious. So you've got the noble messenger or the gracious messenger of Allah, mm -hmm. the messenger of the gracious mm -hmm. Allah, mm -hmm. and the messenger of Allah is gracious. Oh. That's cool. Cool, huh? Uh huh? All just from just a little bit of manipulation, mm -hmm. and you get three yeah. different mm -hmm. communications. Yeah. This is you guys now starting to put your knowledge of Nahu and Sarf, mm -hmm. the basics, yeah. to work. Now mm -hmm. it's time to take that next step. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And before I finish today, another is is this concept clear? Yeah. That the adjective mm -hmm. for a mudaf 
or a mudafile mm -hmm. has to come after, but yeah. you got to be careful in matching it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do. I like let's... this stuff though. Wouldn't we like like do solve this problems? Uh -huh. You're gonna love this then. Watch this. Okay. Ha the. Ha the Rasul. Okay. Ha the Rasul. Okay. When you have a pointer, how that is a pointer? Yeah. How that means this. I'm reminding yeah. you. How that means what? This. This. Okay. When you have a pointer followed immediately by al, it mm -hmm. makes a fragment. Yeah. And when you have a pointer without an al, it makes a sentence. Sentence. So how do you translate the fragment and how do you translate the sentence? This one's a fragment. Mm, this messenger. Right. This one will be this messenger. messenger. And then this is. And a this one will be a sentence. Yeah. And that will be what? This is a messenger. This is a messenger. messenger. Is that clear to both of you? Yes. That's clear to both of you, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now watch this. Kitabu ar... No, let's just say... Ummatu ar-rasuli. Let's just translate umma as nation. How do I translate... Ummatul Rasuli. Uh, so this is this nation? No, no, no. There's no pointer now, William. Oh, oh okay. okay. There's no. Where, where's the pointer? Nation of the messenger. The nation. Oh. Of the messenger. messenger. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, We're gonna use the because umma is proper and yeah. mudafs usually you put an i anyway. Yeah. When you translate them. All right. Now. Ummatu. Still ummatu mudaf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hada al Rasuli. Ummatu Hada al Rasuli. Now forget about Ummatu for a moment. Let's look at Hada al Rasuli. Have we done that before? Yeah. Except that one was al Rasulu. Yeah. This one is al Rasuli. We'll solve that problem last. Mm -hmm. But the only thing I taught you about pointers with al mm -hmm. is do they create a sentence or a fragment? They create a uh, fragment. Fragment. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's take a step back. Is Ummatu a possible mudaf, Maryam? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why? Because it's light and no al. Right. Mm -hmm. Hada is, is it possibly jar? Yeah. Yes. Yes, because the rafa version of hada is hada, the, the nasab is hada, and the jar is also hada. hada. And if it could be, it then it is. is. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Ummatu is mudaf, mm -hmm. and hada is mudaf, yeah. ilay. Mm -hmm. And hada is ismul ishara, mm -hmm. And ar rasuli is musharun ilay. Mm -hmm. Can you try to translate the whole thing? The um, Ahmed, why don't you try? The okay. nation of what? Uh, the nation of this messenger. This messenger. Mm -hmm. Now, this is important. Listen carefully. Hada cannot tell you its status because it's non flexible. Mm -hmm. But no one thing. If it has a musharun ilay, mm -hmm. what does it mean, a musharun ilay? If it has an al guy afterwards. Yeah. A fragment cousin. Mm -hmm. It's called a mushal Yeah. If it has it, it will match in all four properties. Mm. Yeah. Just like Mosul Sifa, but it's mm -hmm. not Mosul Sifa. Oh, okay. But Hada cannot show you that it's Jar. Mm. But we know that it is. Yeah. And you know what even more proves that Hada is Jar? Mm -hmm. Ar Rasuli showed it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Ar Rasuli is only Jar because Ar Rasuli is bound to match with the Ismul Ishara. Yeah. This only happens when they're a fragment, when they're ismul ishara and musharun ilay. Yeah. The matching does not have to happen when there's no al in between. Yeah. The matching has to happen when there's al in between. Yeah. So if this word hadha was nasab, yeah. then it would have been ar rasula. If this word hadha was rafa, it would have been ar rasulu. Mm -hmm. You can actually tell what hadha is by the musharun ilay, actually. Yeah. Is that clear? No, hadha is not a mudaf. Hadha will never be a mudaf. Hada will never be a mudaf. Hada can only be a mudaf ilay. I can only be an ismul ishara and musharun ilay, and it can only be a mudaf ilay. But it will never be a mudaf. You know why? Let me tell you why. Hada, please, please pay attention to this, guys. 
Why will hadha never be a mudaf? What is the rule for a mudaf? Uh, light? light? No. no light. First of all, there's no light and heavy discussion for hadha. Yeah. To make a mudaf, it mm -hmm. used to be heavy and you made it light. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing for hadha. Yeah. And then it says no al. Mm -hmm. That means you could have had an al, but you didn't have an al. Yeah. Hadha, you never put al hadha, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. it can words like that that cannot have the option anyway yeah. can never be a mudaf. Yeah. It's only the words that you could have had an al, they could have been heavy, and then you took the al up, and then you made it light. Yeah. Those are the words that get to be called a possible mudaf. Mm -hmm. So hadha will never be a mudaf. But can it be mudafile? Sure, because the only thing on a mudafile is what? You got to be what? Jar. Jar. And he said, Hadha says, look, I'm a little non-flexible, but you can uh, think about me a jar in spirit. Yeah. That, that I mean, my heart is with you. I'm with you right now. Is that your New York accent? That's a little, no, it's just, a, never, <laughs> never mind. Okay. What was that accent? Like Don't Italian mafia? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, we could work something out. <laughs> I'm just saying, a little jar. I'm Rafa. You don't know. <laughs> uh, just yeah, that's ask that. my friend, the Mushari Lay. He'll tell you about it, all about it. Yeah. Oh, look, it's jar. So I'm jar. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Okay, it's horrible. Don't worry it's getting about worse. It. Okay, so let's go back to Ummatul Rasuli. Oh, no. Hadihi. Mm. Hadihi. Hadihi, which is the feminine? Yeah. Ummatul. Mm. Ar Rasuli. Yeah. Hadihi mm -hmm. Ummatul Rasuli. This is where we're gonna we're almost near the conclusion. Yeah. What does Hadihi mean? This. this. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the rule is if Hadihi is followed by anything other than Al, uh -huh. we've got ourselves an is. Yes. Okay. Now, Ummatul Rasuli is a mudaf mudafile. Yeah. We already did this. Yeah. The nation of the messenger. Mm -hmm. Maryam, how do you think we should translate Hadihi Ummatul Rasuli? What does hadihi mean? Hadihi means this. Yes. And is there an al right after it? No. no. So it's not a fragment. So you got to make it a sentence. This. If you want to make it a sentence, you this say this. Nation. That's a fragment. Oh. A sentence has is in it. This is the nation of the messenger. This is the nation we're done? Um, no, of the messenger. Is everybody clear about that translation? Yeah. Now let's have some fun. Okay. Somebody says, Ustad, I want to say this nation of the messenger. Mm. Yeah. This nation Mission. of the oh messenger. What do you think the first word should be? Hadha. Well, nation is feminine. Oh, oh. So don't use hadha, use the feminine word. Hadi. 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 Hadihi. Say hadihi. Hadihi. Good. Hadihi. That's a good pronunciation. I'll I'll put the dagger because I can't. <laughs> hadihi. Uh, hadihi. This. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, ummatu. Ummatu. Ar -rasuli. Ar -rasuli. Yeah. Problem. We already used this. Yeah. Right there. Mm -hmm. We already used it. Yeah. And when we used it, we turned it into a sentence. Yeah. But I said this nation of the messenger i want it to be a fragment how do you make it a fragment oh uh you al? put okay al. you put al right yeah. yeah so i'm gonna put hadi hill right no but there's a problem now yeah because how can i put an al on it if it is a Muda al. yeah i got myself a problem mm -hmm. the problem is if i put al on it mm -hmm. it can't be a mudaf yeah and if i don't put al on it it, it gives me an is yeah I want it to be a mudaf, and I don't want the is. Mm. How in the world am I going to do that? Uh, the Arabs at a barbecue thousands of years ago yeah. came up with a solution. Oh, okay. And their there solution go. was... Put it at the end, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's a simple answer. Ummatul Rasuli hadihi. You know what that does? If you want to make a fragment out of a mudaf, you cannot put it in the beginning mm -hmm. because if you put it in the beginning, it'll become a sentence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't put al on the musharr and yeah. because if you put al on it, it's no longer a mudaf. Yeah. So they said, hey, I mean, if you put it at the end, it's not like there's no al afterwards because ain't there nothing afterwards. So we didn't break the rule technically. <laughs> so... <laughs> You get off on a technicality. <laughs> so, <laughs> this nation of the messenger. messenger. If you want to make a fragment, so for a 
mudaf to be musharun ilay. Place the pointer at the end. Yeah. Bam! Problem solved. Wow, Arabs. So That's cool. Well, yeah. It's just so cool. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. I thought they would have but do you to see, if, if you put it in the beginning, why wouldn't that happen? Mm -hmm. And if you put it at the end, why why that would work? Right? Everybody see that? Jawad, I don't hear you anymore. I miss your voice. I like him. Everybody's good? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. Like, now look at this. Oh, I left it in the car. One question. Bala, in tas this is the last thing. This is the ayah of Quran. We'll, we'll, we'll be done. Bala, in what? Yeah. Uh, there was one question. Hmm. Um, is the pointer going to come at the end of the sentence or at the, after the? At the, the end of the idlafa. Not the end of the sentence. We're not discussing sentences. We're discussing at the end of idlafa. Oh, okay. Bala in Tasbiru Watataku Wayatukum Min Faurihim Hada Min Faurihim Hada. Okay, check this out. Faur mean Faurun means moment. Okay, Faurun means moment. Okay, so Hada al Fauru this moment. Yeah. Yeah? Hada Faurun. This what? This moment. Nah. Oh, wait, no. Not a fragment. It doesn't have all after it. When a pointer doesn't have all after it, what you get? Is. This is a moment. Yeah. You with me? Okay. Now, Hada Fauruhum. Hada Fauruhum. What is home? They or them. What is the relationship between forward and home? Uh, right. Is this a sentence or a fragment? Uh, fragment. Yes, oh, it's a okay. sentence because yeah. there's no al after hada. Yeah. So hada <laughs> forward home translation. Mm. Uh, this mm. is a moment. No, no, no. This is they moment. They moment. That's good English. This is they moment. This is their moment. This is their moment. Can you imagine on the battlefield if someone says? <laughs> Ooh, this is our moment. Yeah. What does that mean? Hada fawruham. No, our moment. Fawruna. Oh. Our moment. Uh -huh. Why would why would soldiers on a battlefield say this is our moment? They're they're, they're, they're about winning. to win. They're about to win, or they see an opening. Yeah. Or they see a shot they can take at the general, mm -hmm. or they see a chink in the armor. You're yeah. playing a video game. You're trying to beat this boss, mm -hmm. and finally his pot, you know, his his block is down, uh -huh. and you're like, this is my moment. Mm -hmm. X X R one square triangle. <laughs> Right? Uh -huh. This is their moment. In battle, there's a certain moment, like, you know, a boxer or a fighter or yeah. a soldier, they find an open opportunity, mm. right? The The enemy was about to strike, but they exposed a vulnerability, mm. and that's where you can land your punch, or yeah. you can land your kick, mm -hmm. or you can land a grab, or whatever it is that you yeah. need to land. Mm -hmm. So they're waiting for that moment of theirs. Mm -hmm. The Prophet Sallallahu was, you know, a... Uh, uh, Taken by surprise because the archers were overrun in Uhud. Yeah. And the enemy came from the other side. Mm -hmm. And in that moment, mm -hmm. the enemy saying, this is our moment. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And they they leave mm -hmm. after, you know, causing a, like disastrous damage. They've left. The Muslims are injured. The ones that have survived are also bleeding. The Prophet mm -hmm. is bleeding from three injuries on his face. Mm -hmm. uh, arrow piercing through his cheek, actually, yeah. going into his jawbone. Mm -hmm. Um. So and, and his helmet caved in into his his face. Yeah. Like with a blow, the helmet mm -hmm. caved into his face. So he's got several injuries himself, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yeah. He's lost teeth mm -hmm. in that in that battle too. And the Sahaba, many of them have been massacred. Injuries have taken place. So the Muslims are not, you know, after a fight, win or lose, you need recovery time. Yeah. So they're barely recovering. Mm. Right? Yeah. And so the enemy left the battlefield and mm -hmm. we're injured, limping, hurt, barely recovering. And word comes, they're coming back. They're like, why do we leave them weak? This is our moment. Mm. Right? Yeah. This is our, mm -hmm. we should we should capitalize on this moment. Yeah. Now, this is the word used, fawruhum. But, mm. and fawrikum also. Fawrikum, this moment of yours. Oh, okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, I think it, the ayah has fawrikum, isn't it? Yaktu'u min fawrikum hadha. 
So min fawri kum. Mm. Why is fawri jar? Uh, fawri. Because of min. min yeah. From your moment. Uh, From your moment. moment mm -hmm. Right? Now, here's what the ayah says. Min, sorry. Min, actually before I do this, do let, let's do this one. Hada fawruhum, this is their moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. What does this do? Fawruhum. Hada. Fawruhum. Hada. What did I do with the pointer? I put it at the end. Yeah, yeah. When you see a pointer at the end of an idafa, what's the pointer doing? It's pointing at the mudaf without giving you an is. Yeah. How do I translate this? So, uh, uh, this is... No, there's no is. It's a fragment now. Oh, yeah. So, this, this moment? This. What, what about the home? Oh, I didn't see the home. This, this, this moment, they... This, this moment, moment, they is good English. This moment they this moment um, of theirs. Yes. This moment of theirs. Nice look back. Very good. <laughs> the score is tied. <laughs> this moment of theirs. theirs. Uh -huh. Min Fauricum mm -hmm. Hada. From from what? From this. Is this a sentence or a fragment, first uh, of all? Fragment. Yeah, because for a mudaf, the pointer goes at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So trans understand the 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 fragment means your moment, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But once you add the pointer, how am I going to translate this? Uh, from this moment of theirs. Moment of not theirs. All of yours. Of yours. <clears throat> of yours. What's that? From this moment of yours. Yeah. Um, is this last one from the ayah? Yeah. It should be min fodi him had that. Yeah. Okay, I, mean, oh, so I saw him. you avoid icon. I kept making weird faces at him. He just avoided icon. I saw that too. I was like, what is he doing? It looks like he it, it ate something bad of theirs. My, my fault. Yeah. Memory lapse. So, yeah, to come in fawri him hada because it's the moment of their advantage. Yeah. Okay. Mm. From this moment of theirs. Very cool, powerful concept. Mm. So, no. Uh, I'm confused about when hada comes at the end. Muhammad Jawid. Hada comes at the end when you want the musharun ilay to be the mudaf. Mm. If you keep hada in the beginning, it will become a sentence. And if it's a sentence, then if so, let's let me spell it out for you. If you say hada fauruhum mm -hmm. like that, yeah. then this is a sentence. Mm. This is their moment. But if you say fauruhum hada, then this moment of theirs, which is a fragment, which means it is ismul ishara mm -hmm. and musharun ilay. But that means you don't think of it as an is. It's not a complete idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? So let me show you on the screen again. Where did I write it? There it is. Okay. Hada fawruhum and fawruhum. This is the difference between them. This yeah. one's a fragment. This one's a sentence. sentence yeah. This only happens because a mudaf cannot have an al, uh, yeah. and a fragment wants an al. Mm -hmm. But a, a mudaf says, "No, I'm not going to give you an al." Okay. So Hada says, "Fine, take this." Literally at the end. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Hada goes at the end. Is that mm. is that better? Yeah. 